The Bible lets us know in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse number 9 that we know in bits and we prophesy in parts. It's not possible that one person will know everything. So we need to take uh, the correction from other brethren on this narrow path. Pray about it. Ask God for personal revelation so that we know how to walk with Him. So that we don't walk in vain. The message I want to share this morning is about the Sabbath. I think about last year or so, so many people have been asking me questions, Sister Kate, what has God said about the Sabbath? Has God revealed anything to you about the Sabbath, the day we should worship? What day precisely did God want us to worship Him? I mean, this question has been coming from several angle, even pastors. They have been asking me a lot of questions. A lot of people have been asking me this question. So I don't really know what to tell them. My response to some people is that uh, any day you choose to worship God is acceptable before Him. You may choose Monday, as long as the day you keep it faithfully, the Lord accepts it. I know that some of you who have given these answers, if you are watching me now, you understand what I'm saying. So many people have been asking me. So there was a time I went into praying. I started praying like maybe two or three months ago now. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I said, Lord, tell me, what is uh, the meaning of all these Question people are asking me about the Sabbath. Please, I want to know. And the Lord did not give me any answer. So since the Lord did not reveal anything to me, I kept quiet. So, and again, I used to feel in my heart that if truly to worship on Sunday is not recommended by God, now, I was a, a member of Catholic Church before the Lord arrested me. And when the Lord arrested me in Catholic Church, he did not ask me to go to Sabbath day church because we have Sabbath day church very close to where I was staying before. It's turned true to where I was staying. Then why did God now ask me to go to deeper life? And he knows that deeper life worship on Sunday. So sometimes I will tell people that to worship on Sunday is not bad. That any day you choose to worship God is acceptable to him. So until yesterday again, being the 27th day of August 2021, yesterday was Friday. So there was a man that called me. He said his name is Gabriel. Uh, that he has been one of my followers on YouTube. Based here in Calabar. So that he wants to see me. So I now asked him where he was. He told me. When I went close to that very uh, uh, area. I called him. And I told him I'm here. So he came. And he met with me. One of the first things he asked me was that. As God revealed. The Sabbath to me, the day of worship to me, and I told him no. And the man now opened his, uh, started quoting some scriptures which I was going through, I cannot remember all now, and started telling me how the disciples worship on, Sab on Sabbath, and the, you know, so many scriptures that talks about Sabbath. The man was quoting, uh, he quoted few to me. So we talked a little while, and I left him. I told him I'm going to pray about it. So actually, when I got home yesterday, I went on my knee as I was about praying to sleep. And I remember, I said, God, tell me, what is it about the Sabbath? People have been asking me, Lord, I want to know, which day precisely do you want us to worship? That was the prayer I made yesterday night, Friday night yesterday, before I went to bed. So after praying about this Sabbath, that that man asked me this question, the man asked me about it, I went to bed. So I wake up this morning, though immediately I wake up, I look at my time. It was about time uh, for morning cry. So I didn't really waste time to meditate about the dreams that I had. So I took my megaphone and my Bible, I went outside straight to preach the gospel when it was about some few minutes to 5 a.m. this morning. After I finished preaching this morning, on returning back to the house, as I was studying my Bible this morning, then the message began to come to me. And I started remembering the dream that I had this morning concerning the Sabbath. Uh, 2018, 
I was in one community in Avi, Ecom Local Government of Cross River State. That was in 2018. Then in this village, I met some young boys who were doing evangelism in that village. They came and they rented a house. They were staying there like they want to plant a church or something. So those boys were going uh, around the village and preaching the gospel. So one afternoon, those boys came to me. I was just sitting there. And I saw them, they came to me. And they started preaching to me. And I saw them trying to tell me something about the Sabbath. I don't want anything that will mislead me. Because I see myself as a new convert coming to the Lord. I want to take my time to follow the Lord and learn the right way. So when they were telling me, it detested me. I was not happy. So what I did was I, I dismissed them. I told them, please, as you can see, I'm busy. You can go. So those boys walk away. I did not listen to them. And that, that has passed. They never came back to preach to me anymore. Though I still see them in the village for a while. Before me, I left the place. So this morning in my dream, I was referred back to that dream. And this was what I saw. I saw myself standing back to that same village. And I saw this, these boys. I saw them. They were standing there. And this was the voice I was hearing. This voice. That those people were saying the right thing to you. But you doubted them because of unbelief. They are the one doing the right thing. But you doubted them because of unbelief. I was speechless. I was just looking at them. Because I don't know what to say. So this was just the message. So as I, as I reflect back to this message, I began to think. I wanted to dismiss the message, ignore, to continue doing what I was doing, but I was restless. I was doing something, but my mind was going to that message. That this is a message. The answer to the question that they asked you yesterday, God has spoken to you. Remember the Bible say, once has God spoken and twice have I heard. I don't know what you may think, but I want to tell you that God has confirmed it. What those boys were telling me, they were doing the right thing. They were saying the truth. And I doubted them because of unbelief, actually. Beloved in Christ, I want you also to go on your knee and pray. Ask God if you should change your church uh, days from Sunday to Saturday. Ask the Lord, let him reveal to you. Because... Our God is not author of confusion. I may not know all the scriptures to, to refer you to concerning the Sabbath. But if you read your Bible, you see so many scriptures talking about the Sabbath. Even among the disciples of Jesus in Act of Apostles. And one of the scriptures that I know in the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. When God was giving his commandment. And he says in that Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. That you should remember to keep the Sabbath holy. Book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse number uh, 21. The Lord also gave his people warning that they should do no work on the Sabbath day. But today, because we worship on Sunday, on Saturday is a day we can do anything. People go to club on Saturday. People smoke on Saturday. People drink alcohol on Saturday. People do anything, they wash their clothes, they go to the market, they do anything on Saturday. But we don't know that Saturday is that Sabbath that God is talking about. That we should do no work on Saturday. Neither we, our children, our family, even our servants, we should not allow them to do anything on Saturday. Saturday is a holy day. Saturday is a day we should observe as the Sabbath of the Lord. Remember to keep the Sabbath day holy with emphasis. I don't know how come about that people started worshipping on Sunday. And according to what someone told me, I don't know that the Sunday worship started by the Roman Catholic people. They were the ones that started the worship on Sunday. And they are serving the God of the Son, which I don't know. So I don't know. I want you to pray about this revelation. Please pray about it. The same way Sister K got this message yesterday, I went on my knee and I prayed to God 
Because anything people ask me, many times I go on my knee and I pray. Except I forgot. If I remember, I will pray about it. And if the Lord tells me anything, I will not hesitate to say it out. So this is the meaning of what God was telling me. That those people told me the truth. Those people were doing the right thing. And they told me I doubted them because of unbelief. Saturday is the day we should keep holy. Not Sunday. Okay? Saturday is the day we should start worshipping uh, our God. We should gather together, assemble in His name, like He said in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, uh, verse number 25, that we should not despise or forsake the assembly in the name of the Lord. So if you can change your service day from Sunday to Saturday, I think it will be better. That is uh, obedient to the name of the Lord. So go and pray about it. Tell God to give you conviction so that you will do what is right. Remember, we are in the last day. Our God is no respecter of any man. Don't wait until you cross there before you repent because there will be no repentance uh, after here. There will be no repentance on the judgment throne. We can only repent now. Now you can repent. Now you can put things to order. So many revelations, so many things. I know that there are some revelations that are from the devil as well. The demons are giving their own revelation to put confusion in the body of Christ because they see that, oh, people are taking this. Okay, since they are taking this, uh, they are getting wiser and wiser. So we need to pollute their revelation so that uh, they will see them like liars. They won't know what to believe anymore. I know the devil have tricks. But the devil will not trick you. I pray the devil will not trick us in Jesus' mighty name. So, one thing I see there, that this revelation is coming quickly, you know, from different angles, people are having different revelations. God want to uh, want us to put things in order because the time is no more. Remember when a woman is in travail, there will be a time the woman will be in the first stage where the labor will be just be paining the woman. It has not reached the second stage. The pain is not increased yet. The pain will be increasing gradually, gradually. Until the time the baby is about to be pushed out. You will see the woman screaming. She will not be giving you time. She will be crying every minute, every second. No, come on. Oh, no, come on. Oh, doctor, come on. Oh, no, come on. Oh, the child is coming. Oh. The woman will be crying in pain because that is the time we are now. We are in the last minute when the baby is about to be born. We are in the last minute when the trumpet is about to sound. And this is a time you we'll begin to hear more revelation. Demon revelation will come. That of God will come. A lot of things, a lot of unbelief, spirit of doubting, uh, a lot of heresies, a lot of things. And that is why God warns us and say, take heed. That if somebody tells you that there is Christ here, there is Christ, I'm here, I'm here. We should not believe on them. Okay? So, this is the time. I would like you to pray about this vision. And as you pray, I believe the Lord will confirm His word in your life. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you as you continue to listen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.